Hey, do you guys ever go on the internet and see something and the second you see it, you just know that you have to have it in your collection? Yeah, well, for me, something that really struck me uh, harder and faster than almost anything else was these carbon fiber scales from Eric Shepard. So on Instagram, you're gonna find Eric. It's at shepherdcc. I'm gonna write it down for you, look at that. Shepherd CC is his Instagram account. And when you go there, you will be blown away by what's possible. Eric makes scales for over 170 different types of knives. And I don't know that you're gonna have a pocket knife that he hasn't already done before. So Eric uses a huge range of materials and a huge range of manufacturing techniques. And he's able to build just about anything you can imagine. So I believe it was about a year ago, I saw a set of these on his website, excuse me, on his Instagram account. And he was talking about how this was a new material and he hadn't tested it yet. Um, he was gonna make himself a set, but uh, when he knew that it was strong enough and durable enough that he could put his name on it, then he would offer him and make him available. The second I saw the picture, I sent him a note and I said, Eric, I gotta have those, so when you're ready, let me know. A little while later, he messaged me back and said, hey man, we're good to go on those scales. I think I can make it happen. So they're not gonna be cheap. The material is very expensive and it's, it's a labor intensive thing to make them. And I said, I understand, I get it. So I definitely want them. And uh, Eric took the order and when I opened the mail and I got these out, I was absolutely blown away by how good the quality is. So to start with, Eric uh, lives up in Michigan. He lives in the suburb of Detroit, uh, north side. And um, his specialty is truly handcrafting these scales. So anybody can get a CNC machine and they can knock out scales if you're decent at programming. What Eric does exceptionally well and better than anyone else I, I can think of is he takes the time to hand sand and hand finish all of his scales. Uh, you'll never see you'll never see a hole that's too large. You'll never see uh, a screw that's not recessed properly. You'll never see a rough edge or even like a 45 on the corners of his scales. Everything is perfectly rounded over. Everything is perfectly done, sanded by hand with love in his kitchen. So if you follow Eric's Instagram account, you will see lots of videos where he updates you on what he's been working on. And uh, I've noticed that he does a great deal of wet sanding. Now wet sanding, if you've never done it, is a miserable job because it's cold and it's wet and your fingers get sore and then you're working while you're standing at the kitchen. Um, but it's really the best way to get this wet look on carbon fiber. So Eric makes these, uh, this material is known as uh, shredded carbon fiber with copper in them. A few months later, the material maker that made the shredded carbon fiber uh, upped his game and came out with this. This is 24 karat gold, like a gold leaf mixed in with the shredded carbon fiber. And uh, the second I saw this picture, I reached out to my buddy Eric and I said, hey man, I need a set of those as well. And uh, these are actually even more expensive than the other because of the cost of the uh, gold leaf versus the carbon versus the copper. That being said, you can see, as I get close, you can see the shimmer on the surface and you can see how clear these scales are. There are a couple other manufacturers out there that use shredded carbon fiber, uh, but they generally have a satin finish on their, on their material or a peel ply texture. And only Eric, to my knowledge, uh, takes the time to hand sand these and wet sand them so that they are smooth to the touch. Now you might think that scales like this would be um, slippery, but I don't find that to be the case at all. I find these to not be grippy, but it is easy for my finger fingers to grab them. That's probably because they're so smooth, your fingerprints just work really well. So I've never had a problem with dropping or uh, losing grip on these. Um, I have also noticed that they're rather durable. So you might think that this type of scale would be something that you wouldn't carry, 
and uh, maybe I'm just not real smart, but I do carry these. So I have a, a great love for the craftsmanship that goes into Eric Scales. I know for a fact that even if you're very, very good at wet sanding and you're very, very good at hand sanding, these things still take an awfully long time to make. So if you think about your typical average paramilitary two with the G10 scales, these scales are 100% made at a plastics factory that specializes in G10. And I'm not criticizing them in any way, but these scales are not made with love. They're not handmade. They are mass produced on a, on a wide scale, so to speak. When you look at Eric's product, this is a completely handmade product and it will blow away and exceed your expectations on every level. So whether you have a shaman or paramilitary too, or a zero tolerance, or even a Chris Reeve, or virtually any other knife out there, Benchmade. If you have any other pocket knife and you would like to make it fancy, if you want to kick it up a notch, Eric can help you with that. Uh, he has a wide range of materials available. He's able to do Micarta. He's able to do G10. He's able to do combinations. He also specializes in backspacers that are very cleverly designed. He has a backspacer for a paramilitary too that's longer than all the rest in the market that I've seen. So when you attach on his backspacer, and again, you can do any color you like too, so maybe a mixed media. It's an interesting thought. When he adds his backspacer on the knife, it's gonna look like a factory part. So I'd encourage you to reach out to Eric if you want to check out his work. Um, the best way to do it is to go to Instagram. You're gonna see him at shepherdcc. You'll also find Eric in virtually any knife group out there on the internet. Um, however, I just talked to him a little while ago and he assured me that Instagram is probably his favorite method of communication. So go check out his Instagram, look at his pictures. Um, if you see something you love, it's pretty easy to screenshot it and send it back to him and go, hey man, I need this, but I need it on that knife or I need it on this knife. Can you make it for X, Y, Z? And uh, he, can, he can take care of you. Unfortunately, I believe this material is discontinued. Probably not the best way to introduce Eric to you, but uh, it's all I got on me is the uh, discontinued stuff. But if he has any left, it's worth it. It is worth it because these are absolutely stunning. So if I want a showstopper knife, something that I can carry that's really going to get attention, uh, this is really, this is the one for me. So thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. If you guys want to see more fun pictures of knives, if you want to talk more knives, please join us in our community. We're the Millie Paramilitary 2 Para 3 Club. You're going to find us on Facebook. You're going to find us on Instagram. Uh, in the comments below, you're going to find all the details on how to find us. But uh, please join our community and uh, hope to see you soon. Thanks.